On this episode of Overarching, I have beef. And you want to talk about you want to talk about yeah. spending our tax yeah. dollars? Freaking yes! Wow! 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 Steve Stanger. Because I'm a bad, bad boy. I'm a bad, bad boy. Spank me, daddy. What? Let's do one of these. Okay, let's just let's just. Um, why are you wearing a Cubs jersey, David? Hey, I'm so, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> well, um, and did you not notice what I'm wearing on my head? Yes, a Los Angeles Rams hat. No, this is. How dare you? This is a St. Louis Rams hat. Yes, the Los Angeles Rams. Okay. Um, I am. That's I, the thing that's going to make you mad of the two things that we're talking about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do we want to do we want to say the pledge first and then get into whatever Colin's on about? I I yeah, we could do the pledge first. All right, let's do the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to Gregory F. F. X. Daly, the one to whom we owe it all, and to our taxes, which we prefer to be spent on cops, resources for cops. Like a fully stocked humidor of cigars to calm their nerves while they're straddling a perp. Funding a mentorship program that pairs them up with firefighters, teachers, and librarians so they can learn how to actually serve the public. And new rec centers so they can stay off the streets and put their excess energies into physical activities like softball, pickleball, foosball, not basketball, synchronized swimming, or chess. 1% to the god of yellow envelopes ignored by all. For those of you who don't know, City Connect jerseys are alternate jerseys that Nike made for baseball teams. They've been making about seven or eight a year for different teams. Uh, some are great. Some are not. Uh, Cincinnati's and, and San Diego's are, are praised historically. Uh, Chicago's are really middle of the road. There's, there's the Cubs a, are pretty good. The Wrigleyville, the Wrigleyville ones, are good. ones are cool. But anyway, it's these the it's, Rays it's, we bow down to. It's jerseys. It's jerseys that are specifically designed to be like. This is a thing about your city, whether it's the cover, color scheme, whether it's the nickname of the city, like since it's a and Cincy it's, across the front. It, they're cool. They're very, very cool jerseys, and they're very and like. Um, and many, many, many of them are really, you know, they connect to the city. They're yeah. city connect jerseys. I, I think, I, I would rather be supportive of these two franchises right now. Than the St. Louis Cardinals. You know what I mean that? I genuinely mean that. Hold on. I genuinely mean that. Hold on, David. Here's my here's my here's the clickbait that everybody's gonna be mad at me about. They're like, this is clickbait. This is actually the truth. Hold on, David. I like Stan Kroenke more than I like the DeWitts. Did I open up a can of something? Uh, a can of Hella's Gamed by Narrow Gauge Brewing yeah, yeah. Company. First of all, Hella's Gamed. That is, that is, that is, that is Narrow that is, Gauge. <laughs> Again, Pause two, for two, something that we all really love. <laughs> two Hella's Too Gamed the second time we've done this. Not sponsored, but maybe. David, um, I... No, 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 I genuinely mean that. Back David, to, yeah, back I to don't, I, 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 That is extremely incendiary. And while I believe your ire for the DeWitt family, yes. I don't believe... I mean, Bill DeWitt and any of his Rich progeny... One. And any of his progeny... Did not conspire to kill Princess Di. So that's a good point. I, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Who did he Take conspire? Take off the hat. Who did he conspire to kill? <laughs> oh, this is- uh, <laughs> maybe maybe you now. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> if you don't see me in these next few weeks, that's uh, that so, guy has so, no idea who I am. So real quick, this is not a sports podcast, but yeah, back to back weeks we're talking about. But the, David the is a sportsy man. This is this is more important to the city of St. Louis than just like the Cardinals aren't performing well this season yeah it is it worth noting uh you know what this means though mm. you know what this means yeah david lemon owned a cubs jersey this is grandma dombex this is my grandma's she lived on the north side of chicago don't, for 65 don't years her. she's well you wonder where she is now she's been doxxed for four five years she's been doxxed there's for, a there's a five years is she in heaven she's been doxxed and boxed she's and she's in box <laughs> she's in a box <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, good. mom. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Yeah, uh, Rosemary was the greatest human being that's ever lived. Uh, Bradley can a- a- attest to that. Uh, sure, and like I'm a recovering Cubs fan. Like we're, I'm here. Like we're 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 doing a thing. I en- here's the weird thing. I enjoyed 2016's World Series more than I enjoyed uh, 2006's World Series. Yeah, we'll we'll have we'll always have 2016 uh, Cardinals fans. Uh, we'll never know that feeling. 
Ever. Never once. Because we'll yeah. always have and, 11 and, World Series. And, yeah. and, and, <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Correct. <laughs> so the, the Cardinals, in their entire nearly 140-year history, have never had a red jersey. It's crazy. It's crazy. Really? Many of you probably think that the Cardinals are named after the bird. They are not. They are named after the color Cardinal. No, it's Berenstain Bears. It always has been. Berenstain Bears. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, they're named after color red. A, a, a woman who was sitting in the crowd watching the boys play saw the the socks that they were wearing, and she was said, "What a lovely shade of Cardinal." And then the management was like, "Great, we're calling ours." I'm not kidding. That's, the, that's how the story and they said, goes. Great, we're calling our club the Cardinal socks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the the, the 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 obsession with socks back in the day? You got the the white stockings, the red stockings, the black stockings. Well, There's probably you, some other stockings. If you think about it, they're the most form fitting piece of clothing that you have. Hot, yeah. And so, like, if check you, out those like, calves, you're not showing some ladies. skin. You're not showing some skin, but you might like show a little bit of form fitting calf. Right. I mean, as as we all know, everybody that loves a good calf the, muscle. The MLB champion, uh, 1877, Stockton male calves. <laughs> That was so good. The Stockton man legs. That was, uh, I'm a I'm a big fan of the Amarillo sod poodles. Oh yeah, really that, that's fan. a real team though. That's a real team. Yeah. Just, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I love the trash pandas too. Um, any whoosies. So we Again. were one of the last teams to get a city connect jersey. Yes, just because the we've never the had dice. we've never had a red jersey. Oh, even never though we're jersey. named after the color red. Which uh, I think I suppose. And does, so you would imagine. That if we were to do a red jersey, which everybody was anticipating, everybody was anticipating us doing a red jersey for the City Connect uniforms. Mm -hmm. We were like, yes, duh, obviously, go for it. Take a big swing. And the ownership, the DeWitts said, you know what? I, we, don't, we don't want a City Connect jersey. We're just not going to do it. And everybody in the city was like, hey, what's taking the Cardinals so long? It's because they didn't want to do it in the first place. Right. So if this doesn't scream or reflect the current state and why the the jerseys are kind of a microcosm of the state of this team. I, I, I don't know what else does. This is from uh, an interview, Bill DeWitt, uh, the third, the, the younger one, <laughs> did with ESPN, local, ESPN local. Do an impression. I, I don't know what it's like to be poor. Is that good? It's <laughs> exactly yes. what he sounds is that like. Good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw him at a Wilco concert once, actually. Wow. So that kind of made me feel good about him for a while, and then I realized I didn't care. Um, quote, the Cardinals are held to a very high standard with their uniform, and I'm sort of proud of being, I guess, somebody that's in a position to keep it that way. So I felt pretty strongly that we'd wanted to, this to feel like it was part of our portfolio of uniforms. It's part of your uniforms you wear on field. Therefore, it's part of your portfolio of uniforms. You ding bat. Well, t I'm going to... Continuing. Okay. DeWitt did admit to ESPN that the franchise originally had hesitancy about participating in the City Connect jerseys, pointing to the Cardinals being a traditional club. However, seeing the success of other clubs and how fans embrace the City Connect jersey, they changed their mind because cha-ching, money right obviously we we knew what would eventually happen i do so i'm gonna push back a little bit not because i like the city connect jerseys they're i hate hot take hate the loo and uh, this like, is the first take this is the first take on the uniform yeah this is our first we nelly, all agree like, that the loo sucks the loo sucks nelly it doesn't suck when nelly says it no. but it, it but, does but not no, suck when nelly says but, it, but, it sucks because it's like it's the bathroom baby like well, we don't want to be that here's my also, take my take on the loo is no one says the loo no one calls st louis the loo <laughs> the loo the, the, the loo strikes me as like a try-hard, self-important marketing person trying to create an identity for something that they don't understand the identity of. And to the Nelly point, it's like, it's, it's especially like removed from that moment where like, the Lou has not been a, you know, uh, nickname of the city that is, you know, uh, used a lot in everyday language by all the residents. So now, especially, it's like, oh, someone trying to pander to the people are like, Oh, everyone loves Nelly. Every, he calls it the Lou. We're gonna call it the Lou. It just—it's not. I'm not even sure if it's even that deep. I don't Louisville, think it is that Louisville deep. is known as the Lou. Uh, it, uh, sure. Genuinely, more people call Louisville the Lou than they do St. Louis. I mean, uh, you know what? You know what's more iconic? STL. 
And that's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And we and I, I say I, STL. I don't love the hat. I don't love the hat STL. Many people do like it. I, I, I just... I like it in else. a vacuum. Like it, it like we were talking. Yeah, it doesn't, they it doesn't have, match. They have like four different fonts on this uniform. It's yeah. terrifying. This and, and terrifying? For, real, real quick, I mean, <laughs> it's like, terrifying. You look at it, and I'm scared by the kerning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's you look it up if you're if you're listening audio only. You've probably seen it by now anyway. Yeah. Um, but the 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 hat. I mean, I think the red on the hat and the red on the jersey are even two different. It might just be this photo. They might be two different reds. Yeah. Um, these were clearly designed in a vacuum from each other. It's an yeah. all red hat with yeah. big kind of blocky letters, but with like this kind of like, I would say like. Uh, it's from their 1929. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of an old uniform. timey, old timey kind of like random serif, blocky hand drawn STL in white with like blue outlines it's, around it. I believe it's from the 1929 team. It doesn't look terrible, but it's great. But honestly. Paired, paired with this, I mean the 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 jersey itself, the material looks like a soccer kit, um, which I'm down with as an idea. But like, it's also like the that's the Fabletics BS, right? Too. Where it's, but it's like, and or once was again, it like fanatics, fanatics. Yeah, it looks know. like in putting, in putting brand. the hat and jersey together. <laughs> Just on through this image, it looks like a heavy wool cap and a thin synthetic jersey. Like they just don't weigh the same. They Ian don't says fit. the jersey looks like a fifth grader's calligraphy. Yeah, I don't. Really so good, good job. It's but, uh, the reason. Uh, Backed on the hat for a second. This is why I brought these in. Okay. Purposely, that hat. Literally, you could have put this out. This is my hat from when I was two years old, like a year old, actually. This would have been a better hat, and we would have been like, beautiful, wonderful, great take, nice. White hats are kind of cool. That would be so great. Great. This hat, this hat makes no sense. Somehow better than the STL. And and for the love of God, this is a John Blanco hat um, from Anthony, who which is really beautiful. But um, this is I have beef with the Dewitts about this. Why on earth are you constantly saying you're a traditional club and you're about history and you care about the portfolio of the uniforms and you wear red hats on the goddamn road with a gray uniform and you, you literally push away the greatest hat in your portfolio? Just... I I can... I'm, I'm, this which is, is, which is navy, navy with the red STL intertwined. This is intertwined. the thing I am the most upset about. We don't use this. In, this is iconic. So we all agree it's terrible. I and mean, one, it was going to be difficult to make anything because we have such a tradition with the jerseys. Just like just like Doug was talking about with public art, like this, it has to be something that is the largest, like the least offensive to the most amount of people. And that's never going to happen with these jerseys. Yeah, and you're always going to draw the comparison. But in this moment, we all agree that they suck. If you had to redesign it right now, 10 seconds... What should the jersey, what should the City Connect jersey look like? What's going to really connect to St. Louis? Big toasted rav. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I mean, let's see. That's it. So, like, I, I know. What, what, I think what makes a really good City Connect jersey has been a, a, a very specific local pride element. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like I'm from Florida, but I don't really know if Tampa has like a skateboarding, big skateboarding scene. Maybe that's part of it. Like it's something like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, what's yours, David? I'm gonna think of. I'm gonna think of one. This is something that's better. Florida Lee. Very simple. Which you love, simple and traditional. And New Orleans doesn't have a baseball team. Yeah. <laughs> or Louisville. <laughs> yeah. And they've got minor league teams. But you've got the blue navy cap. Right, I want a, I want a navy cap, please. Also, where's the goddamn blue in this in this uniform? It's on the patch. The arch belongs nowhere on the uniform. The arch is on the field. That's where the arch mm. is. We've had that already. The arch is nowhere. It should be the fleur de lis. It should be blue with red. Maybe baseball element in there somewhere. Uh, STL, sure. Honestly, STL should have been across the chest, hundred percent, and not the blue. And it should have not been the bird on the bat. 
like the birds on the bat because you've been doing that forever. It's an take jersey. a big swing, do a patch, hit those birds do a right patch off the or bat, something like that, or or. I, 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 or make the waves for the river a little bit more less opaque, mm-hmm. a little bit less opaque. Like, uh, I, this is a, okay. Have a continuity in fonts for the love of God. Like, I thought you were giving. I thought you were giving one. So what's your, what's your, what? Your, <laughs> I like the pants. So, so what's your design? What's your design? This what, this what's, something like this for the hats. The STL, um, a little bit more yellow and blue involved to get like the red, yellow, blue pl- primary colors. I like the pants with the red stripe on it. Um, that's what I would like to see. All right, here's mine. Okay. Brick City Birds. All right. Big Where swing. Where would you say that? Well, your STL across the. Ch- I think. I think we call it the Brick City kit. Getting all, getting all bricked up. <laughs> hey, but bricked but the up. thing is, so big STL across the chest in white. We can do the red jersey, the red bricks, and the jersey itself. Instead of pins, instead of whatever, it's gonna be. A brick tessellation, brick. yeah, across cool. the whole thing. It'd been cool if we just said birds, birds, <laughs> birds. <laughs> that, would, that would be if I designed it. Yeah, um, yeah, um, I so, love that. Yeah, I, just, I'm I think, just I think of, I'm just thinking of the Nick Miller time when he's on like uh, whatever absinthe. He's like bird, bird, yeah. bird. <laughs> that so like you, you. This brings up an interesting little uh, diddy yeah. that. So it's like, no. oh, br- like if it said Brick City across uh-huh. across the jersey, a that's like kind of in continuity with the rest of these city connect jerseys that would fit right at home yeah. with those stuff. It was like, Oh, like the connotation of getting all bricked up. What about the connotation of the Lou? Or, yeah. Like, I mean, it, brick city is farther away from getting bricked up than the Lou is from the Lou, like from the bathroom. Ian honestly had the, and that's something I, red we birds. couldn't, we couldn't do the red birds cause of the Memphis red, but birds, it's, it's, it's but, still the, it's but the, if yeah. you wanted to do that, but like you, you bring up a good point cause we have the red Jersey for the first time ever. Why aren't you the Redbirds? Good call. I, Good call. That would I have, be better. I have three, three just kind of like concepts that I feel like I would have liked to see. Mm-hmm. A jersey that references the St. Louis flag. It's great. We all love it. Mm-hmm. It's a top it's, five flag in the states. Yep, absolutely. Maybe I mean I would I would put it top twenty in the world for cities. Oh, in the world, yeah, 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 for cities. I meant sure. top five in the, like this the United States period. Sure, state yeah, yeah, flag yeah. or city flag. Yeah, absolutely. The, the or. Reference the apotheosis could yeah. have been cool. Great. He's holding. He's holding the thing. That's more he? of the St. Louis Browns thing, which they wanted to stay away from. Eh, okay, that's fair. Or, like, even if it was meet me in St. Louis, give me, give me something. Give yeah. Me, like, make it about trains, baby. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Please make it about trains. <laughs> ding, um, ding, ding goes the trolley, or rang, as the trolley rang, rang, rang. goes the loop trolley. <laughs> I'm gonna go down barrel specifically for the Dewitt family, and honestly, for the rest of the barrel of a bat, not Louis. a gun. Nice. Down a 34 Jesus. inch bat barrel. So the Cardinals' place in the world now. 06 and 11, we won World Series because we snuck into the playoffs. Got lucky because baseball was simpler then. Stat cast. Or digital baseball, Saber as I call it. I call it digital baseball because <laughs> it's basically what it is now. Molina won you those two World Series because he was your manager on the field. And you could do that to get through the playoffs. Plus, Larusa was a good bullpen decision maker. And that mattered in the playoffs then. He coined the left-handed bullpen relief pitcher for lefty-lefty matchup. He coined that. Um, that 11 World Series... Mo took over in 2007. John Mosley, like his GM. That 2011 World Series, people give him credit for, and that is not his World Series. That's Jeff Lunhow's World Series win, just like 06 was. Jeff Lunhow was the GM before John Mosley. Um, you may know Jeff Lunhow because he left after that to go to the Astros. Um, and he assembled a team into a powerhouse. It took a while to get there. Right, they went through some stuff like really, really tough struggles for like three years, um, maybe four or five. Honestly, um, he stole that Cardinals farm system. We have proof. That guy that hacked into Jeff Lunau's computer was proving that he stole Cardinal farm system data and took that with him to the Astros. He proved that. Yet he was the one that went to jail. Not Jeff Leno. It's 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 very it's a very it's Missouri it's a very Missouri thing to accuse journalists of hacking and, and let people yeah. doing crimes go do whatever they want. Yes. So where 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 are the Cardinals now? The farm system is 
fine. It's not good, not bad. Um, well, we got so many, so many current legends on the field up coming until, up. Yeah, yeah. Up until AAA, it's fine. Um, for some reason, we're great talent evaluators. Really good, actually. I'd say we're top 10 talent evaluators. Um, but no one seems to be able to put it all together in the big leagues when they get here. Unless they're traded or they sign somewhere else. It's like these players get out of a toxic relationship and they see what life's like, you know, outside the gaslighting of the gas house gang. But I'm going to coin that real quick. Uh, Matheny was likely then to have Yachty leading. So Matheny didn't do anything for the so many years. We made it back to the World Series, made it back to the NLCS all these times because we had a lack, loaded, loaded, loaded roster offensively. But time and time and time again, Matheny made the bad, wrong pitching decisions. If you saw all the time, Molina and Matheny did not get along. There's your reasons because he was so pissed that Matheny made these bullpen decisions. Don't need to go into that. It proves that Mo and DeWitt were still right in the coattails of the greatest leader baseball has seen on the field in a very long time. We'd squeak in because the, well, we're in the NL Central. The NL Central kind of sucks. Okay? We get lucky. So, I, I want to like my club. I want to love my club. It's the thing that makes St. Louis, St. Louis-y for the past 20 years. We've had it good. Um, there's barely anything to support now. Like even the players, there's barely any players to support now. Maybe Lars, people like Lars, but we know the DeWitts leaked that story on purpose recently. You leaked that story. Which story? About wanting $250 million of public funding for upgrades to the, to the stadium. They did that on purpose. They they leaked that. I know for a fact. I know this. I have info. Just like Cronky Princess Die. No, no, no. I act, This is real. <clears throat> I actually do know somebody that was in on that conversation. Are you breaking? Are you breaking news right now? Mm-hmm. That they leaked this information to the public purposely to gauge public interest, but they did it purposely for somebody else. They they did it to get kind of the idea of of what the stadium is worth to St. Louis mm. to gauge fans' interest of, of them being here, this is what they're going to do. They're going to do exactly what the Chiefs did. They're going to say, well, fine, well, we can leave. Like, we can go somewhere else. They're doing what the Chiefs are doing right now. The Chiefs have just as an important history to Kansas City as St. Louis does uh, the Cardinals due to the St. St. Louis area. I mean, obviously, yours is longer. But, like, the Chiefs mean so much to KC. St. Louis means so much. They're not going anywhere, but they're going to do it. They're billionaires. All right? This is what they do. So, they they didn't... They wanted the test of waters first. They never planned on actually asking for it. They never planned on actually asking for it. They wanted to see what we did. Um, and I say to you, Bill DeWitt, you live in Cincinnati. You live in Cincinnati. What the hell is your problem, man? Come home. I, I think if you lived here, buddy, I think if you didn't live in, honestly, a city that I kind of like. <laughs> I, cool. I kind of like Cincinnati. Does he actually live in Cincinnati? He lives in Cincinnati. Live, does he live in the suburbs? He lives in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Well. Isn't that awful? And he went to and he went to a Wilco concert. No, his son did. Ah, oh, wow. Well. But like cool points, cool point for both of them. But but like <laughs> let's um. Could we? I, I don't I don't understand I don't understand what's happening. While like like we all of St. Louis needs some answers from all, you. All these all these threats and you're giving us nothing. You're giving these, us nothing. All these threats from billionaires. So and because it's not just Casey, it's not just St. Louis. I think it's it's all around you know major sports franchises, owner billionaire owners threatening. The threatening yeah. their lifeblood, their fans, their city, but but well, sometimes they do. And like, wouldn't it be rad? Wouldn't it be the coolest thing if we ate them? No, yes, but no, but not f- first. Before we eat the rich, um, like salt them. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> a, a nice rub. <laughs> 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 um. What if 
the Cardinals organization and stadium were owned by the people or owned by the city, owned by the people versus the city. And because we've like, talked about this, we, I, there right, is, there is Green one Bay. city outside of Green Bay oh. that would do this for their club. It's us. And it's St. Louis yeah. with the Cardinals. Because, because, and like, and you want to talk about, you want to talk about yeah. spending our tax yeah. dollars. Freaking yes. You want, Get into it, you want to talk about Greg Rex, FX Daily spending our tax dollars. All the tax, all the tax revenue we get from the stadium district, all, that we get from events and everything, awesome, cool, wonderful. What if all of the revenue was for the city and we were saying all these things we say we wish we were spending our taxes on? We could, and it would be all these yes. wonderful things like... Get them. What, that, like, that's such... And I know nothing's easy, and I, but it, that, that's such an easy answer. Seriously, I, I can almost guarantee you. I can Eminent domain, the Cardinals, guarantee baby! Guarantee you. If we brought it to the freaking Do public, it. if we brought this to the public, you know so many people in St. Louis would be like, I want a, I want a percentage of that Put club. Put it on the ballot. I want a percentage of Vote. that club. Ah. Ah. And I want to fuck Lars Newt Bar. Yeah, <laughs> I want to. Kind of, yeah, uh, yeah. So does my wife. She has been clear about this. <laughs> yeah, my, was, my wife was Tyler O'Neill. <laughs> Everyone should get what they want. Yeah. St. Louis should have their own baseball team. Remember, it's it is vegan and it is not cannibalism to eat the rich. Mm. So um yeah, Ian Ian likes to dry rub build wit. <laughs> Let's all say it at the same time. One, two, three. Ian, Ian likes, likes to dry rub, rub build the wit. Now say it with like it's sexy. Ian, Ian likes, likes to dry rub, rub build the wit. Now say it that way three times in a row, the exact same way. Ian likes to dry rub, build the wit. Ian likes to dry rub, build the wit. Ian likes to dry rub, build the wit. Comment section, readers theater. I said on last episode that I couldn't keep cranking these out, um, but you guys, you're just so crazy. It's like our third one in a row. It is our third oh one gosh. in a row. Uh, comment section, readers theater is uh, my way of therapizing doom scrolling. I have a bad habit of doom scrolling. And here's some comments. These scripts are made from Facebook comment sections. Uh, like under one article, the comments are unedited but reordered, and I make a, a little squipped out of them, and it's fun. Comment section readers theater. You guys ready for this doozy of a of a of a comment section? Let's set the scene. Interior KMOV News Facebook comment section headline. John Legend to perform at the Muni with the St. Louis Symphony. Wow. 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 Wow! I saw James Taylor years back. Saw Rod Stewart there. Saw the Beach Boys there. So glad they're using the beautiful facility for concerts again. I work as a professional publicist for John Legend, and he asked me to reach out to a few of his fans out here. If you'd like to connect with him, do well to reach out to me. I sent you a message. Your feedback is essential. Who cares about John Legend? I would not walk across the street to watch if it was free. He sucks. What has caused a problem with John Legends? I only seen him on The Voice. Just another woke liberal. Don't go to woke concerts. Love his voice, but not his or his wife's beliefs. I used to love him. Couldn't pay me to go see him now. He and his wife are so, so cringe. Thinking same. They are two woke morons. Isn't he a big Democratic liberal that backed Biden? Dumbercrat. I work as a professional publicist for John Legend, and he asked me to reach out to a few of his fans out here. I sent you a message. Your feedback is essential. Do you mind holding hands? If you don't mind me, I will be happy to know you much better. Can I send you a request? I saw Little Feet there. Can't believe it was over 30 years ago. It was an awesome show with the Alaman brothers. I saw Sting there. 30 years ago. I remember seeing Chicago there in 1990. I saw Mitzi Gaynor in concert there when I was 10. I saw Rod Stewart there a million years ago. <laughs> we saw Glenn Campbell and Sonny and Cher there two different concerts. Linda Ronstadt and Aaron <laughs> Neville. Please do more live concerts. My wife and I are seeing Barry Manilow in July. The Muni was the last time I saw him, and that was something like 1976. I work as a professional publicist for John Legend. Barry was a homosexual. And? He asked me to reach out to a few of his fans out here. I'm just letting you know that you never had a chance with him. Um, okay? You'll never ride that stallion, old girl. I sent you a message. Your feedback is essential. 
Hello, how are you? I'm new on here. Can you send me friend request or a direct message so that we can be friends and get to know each other? Why does John Legend not have morals and decency? You can Google him. He is not so sweet and soft-spoken as he seems. Better watch our kids and definitely say no of him or Chrissy. Ask you to join them for some pizza and to and watch toddlers and tiaras. I-Y-K-Y-K. Jesus, you guys will believe anything you read on the internet. Why make stuff up you probably thought you heard? Nothing like bearing false witness, eh? Didn't your Bible tell you not to judge others? Awkward. Your feedback is essential. Are, are we just ordinary people? Absolutely. It's all right. Seen. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Excellent. Comment section work. readers no. theater. This I like. I said when I when I first you know saw the announcement on Facebook, I, I thought I said it to you because like oh there might be some stuff, but initially when I looked at it. It was just like one comment that was kind of like goofy, and, and most of it was just like people tagging their friends to say, "Look at this thing." Um, but yeah, I didn't like. It took me forever to find. Uh, I was like, "Why is why do people not like John Legend?" Because I was like, he seems like vaguely unproblematic. Yeah, like we were saying, like it's public art. Like he's he's like the the most unproblematic to the most amount of people. But boy, were we wrong. Well, yeah. And, <laughs> I, 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 at first, at first, I just searched John Legend controversy and got nothing. I'm like, what is going on? It's and like, then, and I was like, is it, is it just regular ass racism, which is kind of weird? And then he searched, does John Legend is gay? <laughs> no, no. But I did, I did change the search to John Legend conspiracy, and then I was like, 2016 again with PizzaGate, and like apparently he and Chrissy Teigen got like name checked into that by some, you know, Q level, uh, you know, Twitter, you know, spoof, spoof. Spoof, spoof, sleuth. Sleuth. I think stroke is actually the word you're looking <laughs> well, you for. You know, uh, yeah, but it's like, and it's, but it's the kind of thing where like the, the, the Q, like the, the whole like Q stuff that was like, you know, dominating the news cycle for a while. And then it like dropped off the map. And I kind of thought like, okay, like, yeah, we just kind of like memory hold that it's nothing. But then like, I'm, there's clearly people out there who like so bought into the misinformation probably have not thought about John Legend since they first saw that, you know, screenshot of that Twitter post. And then like all of a sudden someone says John Legend and they're like activated, you know, <laughs> yeah, the, the sleeper cell is activated. <laughs> I was at the Muni this morning. They said John Legend tickets were selling out like quick. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the time of recording, a uh, cigar smoking cop. Straddle suspect outside St. Louis bar. That's from the St. Louis post dispatch. Doesn't sound that bad. Uh, I mean, why, David? <laughs> it sounds like he was having a good time. Who? The cop. Yeah, I um, said he because I'm imagining it's a he. Sure is. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the, this is. This happened at the uh, at the the marquee. Uh, lounge and restaurant, um, mar- restaurant and lounge. Excuse me, it's close to the stadium, right. to uh, the it's soccer right, stadium, right behind the um, police headquarters. Yes, is, is the, <laughs> the real notable it's part magnificent. of this. Magnificent. Um, the video shows. Uh, this is a shout out, voice of the people. STL. Mm-hmm. No idea how that guy gets everywhere in this city. You see his stuff everywhere, all over St. Louis. You just don't know it. it it's yeah, it's it, he's it's everywhere. He's everywhere. Not, not only not only the post dispatch picked this up. There's a Daily Mail. Headline from, from the UK. That St. Is this- Louis mentioned. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. uh, this uh, we globally get recognized for our police department yeah. in wrong ways. In, in the in all the wrong ways. So this yeah. this is like I mean, it's wild. The the, the name of the suspect or the officer as of May fifteenth uh, at the, at the time of recording has not been released. Um, but uh, here's the thing. This guy was arrested for trespassing on private property and resisting arrest. He was outside of a bar. I don't know what that's about. Um, well, those are, and those, are, those are the crimes that you can commit. Outside those, of a bar? No, no, no. Just, those are the crimes that exist. Yep. Trespassing and resisting arrest. I'm, I'm, pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure those are, because the, the police, uh, so police officers, um, also known as law enforcement officers because their job is to enforce the law. I'm pretty sure the laws, yeah, the laws are trespassing and resisting arrest. So they do that. You know? Simple. Kinda, Simple. 
It's kind of like in the Kite Runner, how they the the the, the, the dad says in the, in Islam, all all crime is theft. Ian's got a good point. Uh, if you're a real, you're a real cop, cop, name three crimes. <laughs> <laughs> you're a real cop, name three crimes. Um, you have to answer that. That's a real question. You have to. That's legal. That's what the that's what the whole the whole uh, academy is about. Here's a weird statistic about the San Luis. Man, if we if we want if we want to have a vertical I, video sensation, get... <laughs> let's, let's just start man on the street. Man on the Name street. Name three crimes. Name three crimes. <laughs> um, go up, run up to a cop with a microphone. <laughs> Name three crimes. This don't, so hey, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. The, they might mistake a mic for something else. I did uh, just a, as a quick aside. Uh-huh. Uh, saw a cop today walking down South Grand with his like Billy Club out. Was he twirling it? Twirling it. Like Sheriff, no way, for, Sheriff for Nottingham. Absolutely old timey twirling. Did it. he have a bowler hat? Nope. Was he was he was he That's a, the only situation was he in an which animated, that's okay. Was he an animated bear whistling a tune and mumbling something about Robin Hood? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I Gosh. I almost I almost took my phone out and recorded him, but I didn't want to get my. That's ass kind beat. of amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's worth noting that uh, cigar smoking. This is quoting the article: "Cigar smoking cops aren't new." This is the my favorite sentence in the huh? history of the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Homicide investigators have been known to show up at homicide scenes, chomping on a cigar and wearing an old school fedora. Are they Are they doing a job? Or are they cosplaying? Tim Robinson sketch. First half. During the kettling mass arrests in 2017 in downtown St. Louis, some officers were seen smoking cigars in celebration as the cops chanted, whose streets, our streets. That tracks. This is your police department. This is your police department. You know, you know what, what that means. means. Mm-hmm. The, the video's funny, you know, like it is, he's chomping on a cigar while he arrests a guy. But remember, this is the same police department that has uh, overturned countless SUVs uh, and ran into historic black churches and, and gay bars. And shot and, a bunch of black kids. And, oh. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's the kind of thing where it's like, you know, I think pointing to the idea that the, like, the video is funny. The imagery is absurd. Correct. And, like, and that is funny, but like the thing that's funny about it is that it totally conflicts with our ideas of what a person whose job is to m- promote public safety should be. And so we need to take that striking, absurd image and demand better. It's interesting that you say that. There's a lot of push to get more cops on the streets, specifically from people like outside of the city limits of St. Louis. Here's something interesting. As of May... Police officers, this is from uh, Dennis Baganovich. You probably follow Dennis on Twitter. He is a phenomenal um, promoter. I want to have Dennis on the show eventually. He's a, a brilliant mind in terms of how this city works. And he's a, he's a great thinker in terms of a forward thinker for sure. the city. Yes, he's great. Um, I thought you said a forward thinker. Like who swears a lot. A forward <laughs> thinker? <laughs> that, maybe. As of May, police officers per square mile of city area. St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department versus the Kansas City Police Department. Let's look Mm. at some statistics here. This is police officers per square mile of city area. St. Louis has 14.11 police officers per square mile of city area. Kansas City, 3.23. This is per 100,000 residents. St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department has 322 officers, whereas... uh, The Kansas City Department has 203. Violent crimes in 2023. St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department has recorded 4,038. KC Police Department, 7,651. Violent crimes per 100,000. We have 1,400. They have 1,600. And these are are all per capita numbers. Per capita numbers. These aren't raw numbers before you run to the comments. You're like, but Kansas City is bigger city limits. Stop saying Kansas City is safer than St. Louis. It's not. Also, stop saying St. Louis and Kansas City aren't safe, period. Also, uh, the correlation between more cops and less violent crime, less petty crime, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Like, deter- cops are a deterrent. Yes, give they are. The- to, pet- to certain crimes. To certain crimes. Not but all this- crimes. Sure. Having a cop patrol in the street might prevent somebody from breaking into your car. 
But violent crime, and that's really what we're freaking talking about here. When when everybody's scared of the when, when they when they say the downtown streets filled with crime. Yeah, here's yeah. the here's you the know, biggest. The, 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 the downtown streets filled with crime. You know, you know what, what that, that means. means. Yeah. yeah, but like, but that's the biggest thing is St. Louis violent crimes per 100,000, 1,400 to 1,600. Yet we have 14.11 cops per square mile to their 3.23, and they just have a little bit more. More cops does not equal less violent crimes because cops are responding to things. Just and never does. You know we what's have faster stats. than a, you know what's faster than a cop car? A bullet, train, and a bullet. Oh. Both. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Not well, no, no, no. Cops know that. Yeah. Because they're the, no, but, but the quick trigger. What we're, what we're saying is unless unless there is an officer of the law standing right there when an altercation happens, they're not going to prevent shit. Uh, the, point, the point of all this, uh, at the time of recording... Stop laughing when cops do funny stuff. Yeah. Uh, when when there's a human life at stake. Uh, yeah. I This guy probably, you know, I'm a bar owner. Uh, people get weird around bars. I'm sure this guy might have been trespassing. Yeah. And I'm sure this guy probably was being a, being a dingus. Uh, so what? Do yeah. your job. This guy's also a, a rent-a-cop in the... In the in the uh, oh. spare time, not the person on the ground, the cop. The okay. cop. This is his like secondary gig. Got He's it. He's a security guard in the in the in his first real job, which is crazy. Do um, you want to do you want to hear the reversed. best transition of all time? If aliens came to St. Louis and said, "Take me to your leader," who would you take them to? Huh? Huh? He said, "Because I've you guys haven't thought about this, but I have thought of I've thought about this aliens." So if aliens like arrived in St. Louis and said, take me to your leader, obviously we don't want to take them anywhere outside of St. Louis. We're going to keep them here. Greg. Greg. Damn. Okay. Greg. Were you going to say Greg? No, but that was going to be my joke. So you took it. So good job. All right, job. well, let's go around and do our jokes. That's good. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's obviously the best <laughs> joke for us. We'll take them to daddy. We'll show them off to daddy. Yeah. Say, this is daddy. And they'll go, hello, daddy. And then mm-hmm. they'll say, I love daddy. And then they'll, evaporate. Obviously they and then they'll French, evaporate. They have a French accent. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> daddy. Hello, daddy. <laughs> Colin, who, who's, who are you taking them to? Oh, no, you order first. Steve Stanger. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's almost an actual, that was almost like a, a very expensive spit take. <laughs> oh, yeah, all over your new computer. I apologize. That was really good, Bradley. <laughs> They're like, Steve we have. <laughs> he almost was. He almost was. He almost was a dear leader. <laughs> that should have been the Metro mayor for better together. Like he was going to be. Yeah, was- I know. I know. I know. I know. For the five years, if it would have passed and for the five years that he was going to be Metro mayor unelected, we, it should have just been called dear leader. <laughs> Steve Stanger, Josh Hawley. Nope. I mean, if the if the aliens were mean, should we keep riffing? Joe Buck. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's, that's the that's the that's, the, that's, the, tra- that's the trick. To, honestly, Gretzky. honestly, honestly, Josh Josh Hawley as like as a as a we don't know what these aliens are gonna do to our good leader. Po- oh, like that's that's like that's like a good swing of like you know if that's they're gonna great. Th- like as a test like if they're you know they like they show up they vaporize the person be like who yeah. oh whoa whoa hold on we have like ten leaders. Um, <laughs> We have 10 leaders. Could you take, we'll take you to Mark McCloskey, uh, to Steve Stanger, to Josh, uh, Josh Holly. We'll take you, Mike Parsons, uh, Mike Parsons, um, Ann Wagner, uh, <laughs> you know, all these people. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll, we'll resurrect, uh, Phyllis Schlafly. Phyllis Schlafly. Yeah. We'll resurrect say. just a killer again. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's really mean, but also like the, yeah. Wouldn't it suck if they were gonna vaporize them and then they just vaped with them? <laughs> no. Oh, what if, what if that's what they meant this whole time? Vaporize. Yeah, they're like, lost in translation. Yeah. Sorry. Puff, puff, pass. <laughs> puff. Uh, Brian Lagerstrom. That's a good one. John Paul's balls. Ooh, John Paul. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. Who is the Who is the most famous St. Louisan? I have a fun one. Um, I, I would take, I don't, you don't know the name maybe, but I'd take them to, uh, uh, Raynard Nebit. So if you're driving is on that, the alien, uh, no, uh, do you know, <laughs> if you're driving on 44, I do. Raynard is the guy that stands over, uh, the overpass in Webster and he has, and he rides his bike. 
He just like hangs oh, out on oh, that overpass oh, yeah, yeah, on 44 yeah, 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 yeah. and waves at cars yeah, yeah, yeah. for like hours on oh, end. Yeah, and he yeah, has yeah. like a um, uh, two scale model of yeah. the bridge he likes to hang out on. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's a that, like I hope I love, that, I love to me some Rainer Devitt. If they're gonna vape with the guy, yeah, that that's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah, I, I, I'm into that. Um, but I, I, I think um, there's a. Uh, somebody that I really want to have on this show, um, and I, I'm I need to pronounce their name correctly. Um, okay, so Fourteenth Ward Alderman um, of St. Louis is Rasheen Aldridge. Uh, was I think he was the youngest, um, at least at the time, state rep, uh, state rep for Missouri, yeah, but now yeah. is the uh, is the Fourteenth Ward Alderman of St. Louis. Um, and so the, it, look up the, we'll put up where the 14th ward is. It encompasses a little bit of downtown, downtown West, old North, uh, or anything surrounding the NGA and a little bit upwards, um, in North city. Um, he is, uh, 30 years old. So he's a 30 year old gay black man with a prosthetic leg, I believe, and has just like fought through adversity his entire life. Um, it, to cool make a huge benefit for the city of St. Louis. And like that is his passion is, oh, yeah. is home. And yeah. I love this guy. I want to have him. He is like the epitome of what we love on this I, show. I remember voting for him when he, when he ran Yeah, the, it, yeah, he's, he's a cool dude. Um, that's my, he, that's he, one of my submissions. I, I again, hope they don't, I mean like it, or, it really is about the outcome of the, of the aliens though. Like yeah. what, like what, or honestly, they, do? If they just want to like meet like the best specimen of St. Louis, like who like is a f- like face of St. Louis. It's two people. It's Jason Tatum, obviously, just a glorious specimen of, sure. of a bird. And then Hakeem Butler of your St. Louis Battlehawks. Hakeem Butler, man. No, you know what? I like that guy. He's amazing. It's it's. I kind of love that guy. It's nudie. It's nudie. It's nudie. It's nudie. You like nudies? I want nudies, nudies. <laughs> there you go. And on that note, folks, there you have it. What is with this show? Was obsessed with New Park. I mean, you know, to I like fair, the guy. To be fair, the World Baseball Classic did like get him a million more like followers on Instagram because he just was the only white person that's ever played for the country of Japan. I mean, in the World Baseball Classic, he's is. he's hot. Yeah, and he's good at baseball. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's, he's getting there. He's getting there. Again. Don't fucking don't. If he goes to another club, he'd be a lot better. And on that note, this has been Overarching. Overarching is recorded at Fly North Theatricals here in sunny Grand Center, St. Logie Magoogie. Our producer is Ian Gilbert. Editing is by Big Picture Media, and our logo design is by Claire Nipper. Follow us on social media at Overarching ST Lewis. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, you should be. And if you are, light a cigar and straddle that subscribe and like button. Fuck my asshole. (laughs) Jesus Christ. I'm reading it and I still can't because I'm a bad, bad boy. I'm a bad, bad boy. Spank me, daddy. I'm Colin. I'm David. (laughs) I'm Bradley. And this is overarching. (laughs) 